I can't remember I was demotivated anytime learning PLC, DCS and SCADA and different automation topics. If somebody will tell you like that, he's joking with you because I have also struggled a lot. I got demotivated many times like you guys, but there were few important things which helped me to keep myself motivated. What are these important parameters? If in the case you apply also, that would definitely help you to be motivated. When you start learning automation, especially PLC, DCS and SCADA, it's not going to be a big surprise that you might have a stomach pain. You might not like, you might feel like this field is not for you. As soon as you sit down and try to learn, the world around you will disappear and you would not be able to capture the attention required for you to learn automation. You wanted to accomplish everything very soon. You would jump on to topic to topic. Unfortunately, with the passage of time, your passion would not be same. Sooner you will find yourself in thousands of different dimensions. At the same time you're learning OPC US, at the same time you're learning Modbus, at the same time you're learning PLC, at the same time you're learning DCS systems, and that can make you crazy. If you are one of them who is struggling miserably, then this video is for you guys. The good news from the center is with the right mindset and motivation and with the proper planning, you can excel very fast in automation field. The number one thing I would recommend you is just do it. Even you don't like doing that, even you feel very demotivated, there are a lot of fears around you, don't concentrate on these things. Make small goals. If in the case you are, you are demotivated, the number one formula would be just do it, even you do a small, small thing every day. It's a human nature when you accomplish something, you do something, you will feel motivated, you wanna do more. If in the case you are not doing it, there are thousands of unclear questions that, that can kill your motivation every day. So the key here is, if in the case you want to get a motivation, the motivation would come in your way just by doing it. You have to find a way in hard times and to grab attention and keep yourself motivated to learn more and more. One of the important thing is throw your mobile away. What I mean by this is not throwing a mobile in a garbage. You can keep your mobile in some other room. That is one of the key that can definitely help you. It helped me also because when you have a mobile with you, soon you would start learning the biggest enemy that would come in your way is social media. You would spend many hours looking into unnecessary content which is not important for you. That's why it's important to keep your mobile and social media away from you. Breaks are important, but short breaks are important. I would recommend you take short breaks, not a bigger breaks. And another important thing is focus. Now you would say, I'm a demotivated, not happy with what I'm learning. I'm not happy with my mindset, how I can acquire a focus. Focus is an art. You have to practice more to acquire a focus. If in the case you would start learning first day with you know all the precautions I have shared with you, all things which can make you crazy or, or can distract you from learning, you have to keep them, keep all these things away. So anything which can distract you, you have to take it away. And then another thing is you have to sit down. One day your focus would not be very good. The next day your focus would improve because it's in home and nature you would learn, acquire everything with the practice. You can also gain focus with the practice. Along with all these things, another very important thing is exercise. A healthy lifestyle is important. Sleep early, eat good food, and have an exercise. This is also gonna be essential for you if in the case you wanna become a successful automation engineer. Another mindset that most of the engineers have that everybody around us who is learning, who is a master of that technology, or who is a guru right now you're seeing is someone special. I can tell you my pain. I remember back those days when I was learning one topic to learn small one topic. I remember I took one month, but I never lose hope because at that time there were very less resources available. There were less YouTube channels who are providing quality education like right now you have a privilege of many good YouTube channels. You can learn and excel by using this. There are a lot of 
online courses but at that time remember back those days luxury of information that right now you guys have that was not available it was very difficult to learn small and small thing the one key thing which i applied i never lose my hope i was always focused happy motivated and want to do something in my life one of important thing that can help you to keep yourself motivated is using your pain as energy like myself when i started i don't have references i struggle a lot finding a job there were nobody there was nobody in industry who can take me to the industry and give me a chance instead of making this thing as an excuse i use it as energy because if in the case you use that as an excuse then you are really on the wrong track and the results are miserable i can bet you but if in the case you use that pain as a motivation if you think okay no matter how difficult this is if you think about your family you think about everybody around you and you focus on your skills then then the motivation would be at the level that you can't imagine with that i would conclude today's session if in the case you like this video consider hitting the like button hitting the like button if in the case you haven't subscribed this youtube channel consider subscribing until next video take care and allah hafiz